Okay, Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science. What did we do last week? Well, moms and dads, we went over the hierarchical structure of the taxonomy, the classifications of living things, and then right from there, we transferred, uh, transitioned right into phylum. What phylum? Well, there's two phylums that we're going over this week of plants. Phylum, another word for phylum is division. And there's two divisions of plants. We're going to be going with vascular and non-vascular. We introduced last week vascular plants. Well, what are vascular plants? Vascular plants are plants with two like structures that transport water, nutrients, and other materials throughout the plant. If you want to think of it this way, these little, these little uh, structures, they're like cups with holes on each side of them and they stack one on top of another, one on top of another and they give support to the plant. Go home and try it. Get a bunch of uh, cups. You stack them one on top of another. Guess what? You can put a book on top of them and it will retain that, 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 that book. It'll hold that book. That book will not fall over. If you take the cup, however, and you turn it sideways, a paper cup, and now you try to put a book on top of it, that book is going to squish the cup. Why? Because those cups are upright and that's exactly how those tube like structures are inside of the trees they're upright like this and they help hold the weight so if you ever look at a, a giant redwood tree in california those giant redwood trees are vascular plants those giant redwood trees have these tube like structures that don't only add support to the tree but they help with a vacuum cleaner to suck the water suck the water right out of the ground transport it up the trunk out the side of the branches into the leaves the leaves will be like our houses right and that's where food is actually made. And about two weeks from now, we'll be going over photosynthesis and how the food in the tree is actually made because a tree is actually an autotroph. It's not in a heterotroph. It's an autotroph. It automatically makes its own food. But any, uh, anyhow, we're going to be going over it on Monday. We'll start tying into the vascular with the non-vascular. Then we'll do a comparison. Let's compare vascular to non-vascular plants. Then we'll do a little foldable with the Venn diagram comparing vascular and non-vascular plants. So just give me a little heads up of what we're doing, where it's going, and where we're going to end up. Next week's going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then we're going to have a two-day holiday. So then we'll see you after that. And we're really going to bang. We're going to start hammering on this stuff. Moms and dad, two thumbs up. Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science. Grouchy in the middle school.